In this video, we will explain the constraints. And before you work with constraints, you have to be very careful because constraints will it change in the behavior of the network. It will change the total float as well. So you have to be very careful. I will introduce you into the constraint. But as a good practice, you should really minimize the usage of constraints in the schedule. So we have different constraints here under status for each activity. You can select your primary constraint here. So we have the as late as possible. So which means that whatever the scenario you are having for this particular activity, the Promovera will try to schedule the activity as late as possible, the latest point in time. We have also the finish on, so finish on particular date. So regardless what I have as a predecessor or successor, the activity must finish on this date and it will change the float, it will change the logic, it will disregard any scheduling relationship because the activity has to be finished on this date. So if it's late, then it will be a negative float, regardless what is the predecessor or successor for this activity finish on or after so it is not only exclusive here to be finished on particular date but the activity can be finished after this date as well so as long as the activity can be finished on or after this date finish on or before it is the opposite of the finish on or after mandatory finish it is also similar to the finish on so the activity must be finished on a specific finish date mandatory start similar to start on milestone. So these are the list of constraints available in Promovera P6. Again, you will probably need to use constraints in one activity only, which is the project end, because if this finish date will be violated, then you will have negative load. It will represent the project delays, but it is not recommended to use for any activity. So finish on, for example, it can be suitable for material delivery. So the material will arrive on this date. But again, it's not recommended. There are different types of analysis and variance analysis, which you can follow, but minimize the usage of constraints because I will give you an example here. So let's say for the compaction, I have start to start relationship with a leg. So there is overlap between excavation and compaction, and it will be started on 21st of August. But if I will show start on 1st of September, for example, Click schedule. So it typically disregarded any relationship and the sequence with the excavation, like the relationship does not exist because the activity has to be started on this date. And also the total float will be changed accordingly. So you really ch change in the nature and behavior of the network. So you have to minimize it. And also if you try finish on some maybe at some point in October, for example. So now it will be changed in October. So if you do the constraints, you basically are saying that after I finish excavation on 19th of August, I will start in October for the compaction. So you have to be really, really careful about what you are trying to do here with constraints. In the next lecture, we will talk about some formatting options like group and sort and also filters. So I will see you in the next lecture.